got a call from Centerville to uh, Easton. It's a 2007 Chevy Silverado. I don't know what exactly happened to it. I know the customer is not waiting with the vehicle. They did go ahead and leave the keys. It's going to make it a little easier for us. And I'm happy. Maryland just passed it that we don't have to wear a mask anymore. It's discretion of some stores, but in hospitals, schools, and stuff like that, we still do have to wear them if you're uh, involved in any of those uh, places. But right now, we don't have to wear them around in the stores and stuff, and I'm ecstatic about that. I am one of the person who hates masks the most, if you ask anybody. If you haven't subscribed already, get subscribed. This channel is slowly blowing up. I want all y'all to be a part of this channel. Like, I want all y'all from the beginning to stay with me from the beginning. I need all y'all to come together, like the videos, comment on the videos. I just need y'all to just show more love. But to the ones that's been rocking with me since the beginning, y'all know who you are. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Show love. Go to jackmarch.com. Go ahead and get yourself a t-shirt, show some love, sticker, anything. It doesn't have to be much. Just show your support for the channel. See y'all in tow. Let's go. So we just got this uh, Chevy Silverado loaded up. The driver of the vehicle, he was blowing my fucking phone up, man. I, I can't stand that shit. I really can't. Like, shit's all GPS, bro. Like, people know when I'm here, people know when I'm there, man. But we're taking it up here into Easton to the Chevy dealership. Got to get caught up a little bit. It set me behind a little bit when I had to put my truck in the shop. Having them sit there and play with my time like that, like, it's frustrating, y'all. It's really fucking frustrating. I can only do so much about it, so. That's another thing I'm about to pick up is learning how to work on my own fucking truck. I'm going to learn everything once I get my shop built, get my lifts and get everything, all my tools, all that shit. I'm going to learn how to do all the work on diesels, regular trucks, regular cars. I'm just going to learn all of it. I'm going to hire a good mechanic. I'm going to learn everything from him. I'm going to study myself. I'm just going to pick up all of that shit because, for one, it's good to know, especially in the towing industry, because we deal with cars. There's a lot of people that do ask me on the side, hey, do you do mechanics too? Can you tow it to your lot and uh, work on it yourself? And this and that it's just another business opportunity for me so why not try it you know what i mean why not learn it you can never know too much just put it that way we had a few little calls since we've been back already made some nice little cash money from home and then a couple uh local cash calls then i got a guy i actually towed that bmw for from seaford back to greensboro the one where i busted my pinky on the dolly he actually wants me to tow that same bmw up to new jersey 122 miles away i gave him a price of 700 dollars and we're gonna see if he wants to do it he said he needs it done and he really wants to do it so we're gonna figure that out too i don't ever turn down no money i'll put a whole day aside and go do that and then pick up some calls when i get back it's only a two and a half hour drive you know what i mean so it'd take up like half a day and get back and bang out some more money. But that's 700 and some dollars for one call. You goddamn right, I ain't gonna turn that down. It's called the giants and machines that went against me. I watched me convince me. Ain't no seeing green, but I'm seeing. All right, y'all. We just got this uh, Chevy Silverado up here to the Hertz dealership. Out here again, hella footage. Got the camera up for all different angles for y'all. Got this up here nice and safe. Chevy Silverado. I've seen a couple videos where I've seen um, a few different people uh, when they're going to tie the steering wheel up, they literally, uh, they'll put fucking ratchet straps and everything on the fucking steering wheels. And that's something you don't need to do. Yes, tying your steering wheel down, you do have to do or else your wheels will roll and it'll cause a sway and cause your vehicle to fishtail and go fucking nuts. And you don't want that. It's happened to me before when somebody, when I had to do a quick pick off the side of the road, it was literally in the middle of the road. I had to fucking move it. They left the fucking ignition on and everything, so it unlocked the steering wheel and all that dumb shit. So fucking it went up on the curb, all that shit. It's something you don't want to play with. But uh, but putting a ratchet strap or a club or 
whatever you want to do on there like that shit's just a little extreme like all you need is a good seat belt like this all you need i usually if i can get two loops around it i will loop it twice and then hook it back in to the uh thing and then i'll scoot the seat all the way back as far as it can go but i usually get about two good loops on there and look i'm gonna tell you that steering wheel ain't going nowhere bro look that steering wheel ain't going nowhere so that's just one thing you guys don't have to sit there and fucking ratchet strap it down and do all of that crazy shit you guys he left his key in the center console i'll lock it up for him but uh yeah so don't be one of them guys wasting time trying to tie down a steering wheel and it literally takes a couple seconds but up here in hertridge and easton so we're gonna get on back to the lot i gotta get called up edit a couple videos i'm gonna throw this in the video and i'm gonna drop this here tonight so you guys are gonna be seeing it get on to the next like i said we've been uh grinding and shining since i got my truck back uh thankfully i've been able to get a bunch of cash calls and the one honk call 500 dollars call that was a big helper and uh if you guys aren't cool with the motor clubs or whatever then that's on y'all man i'm making money off these clubs and it's getting me to run my business smoother better yeah it's not as much money i wish i was getting in bigger calls but that's where the future comes in like this isn't forever i mean i always have a truck doing this but this isn't forever of towing for me like there's so many other things i'm getting into and doing impounds repos all that shit. so the more trucks more different things i get into this is just now what's building this company now while i'm building my google while i'm building my clout while i'm building my rep all of that shit. so just remember guys utilize all your tools don't let somebody else scare you away from getting your money like that's ridiculous just because they're scared of getting money don't be scared neither let's go all right guys we're out here in rock hall maryland way at the very end too right by the water just got done picking up 2020 dodge ram and customer says that there's a check engine light stating that you shouldn't drive it and this and that and that it needs to go to a dealership and blah 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 but he said he's thinking it's probably like the cadillac converter he's he's getting like a weird smell he said or something like that nice truck man i mean it's brand fucking new almost he said it's only got like ten thousand miles still to 2020 i mean can't go wrong with that it's a really nice truck we're taking this one all the way back to Easton we just left Easton at the dealership down there and uh, taking this one all the way back it's a uh, what uh, 39 40 miles it's a $200 call I mean you can't beat it man I mean it's I've already made what almost five hundred dollars this morning and it's only 10 30 so like i said y'all don't ever let that hustle fucking knock you man because you just gotta keep going it don't matter if you're having problems having a bad day anything get the fuck up get out of bed get that phone on get in your car get to making some money make some moves get on the computer find something to make some moves man get calling people if you got a towing company you know what I mean? Get out there. Go get it. You know what I mean? Or if you're trying to get a tow truck, go out there. Do whatever you have to do. Sell a few things. Buy and flip a couple cars. Just do whatever you have to do and get that money to get that truck or get a down payment for a truck. Or, you know what I mean? Just get out there and hustle, man. Don't ever let that hustle sleep. Because once that hustle goes to sleep, you'll never wake it up. I'm telling you. It's a fucking monster under that bed, bro. So... Don't ever let the hustle sleep, man. Just go, grind. Don't ever stop, man. Don't ever stop, man. You can sleep when you die, bro. Like, seriously. Don't let the fucking hustle sleep, man. Keep that motherfucking monster woke. I promise, bro. And you'll always fucking have something. Go grind and go get it. I'm telling you, if you really want something to happen, you gotta make that motherfucker happen, bro. It's not gonna come to you, I'm telling you. We don't live in a world where that shit just falls in your lap, bro. I'm telling you, so go out there and go get that shit, man. Go out there and hustle, go grind, go get you some money, go get your truck, go get a roadside car, do some roadside shit before you get your tow truck. Go do some roadside calls, sign up roadside only and shit. 
You know what I mean? Go get some money, man. Don't, don't, don't. Just don't sleep, man. But let's get this up to Easton, y'all. Seaford just towed this BMW from Milford up here. I've towed this guy uh, another time out to Milford. He was stuck. I've been towing a lot of people I've, I've towed before. A little bit older one. It's got a little bit of damage. We got four calls right now. We got this Jeep Cherokee we're about to go up to now. We got to meet them in Magnolia at the Polytech High School. And then from there, we're going to uh, meet a police officer there with them because the Jeep is at a, sh a tire shop and said she said the guy didn't even end up doing nothing. The back tires are still off the car and he won't put them on or release her car until she pays him $200. And she says she's not paying him $200. So she has me meeting the police officer and we're all gonna ride up there. So I guess we're gonna see what the fuck that's about. I really don't know, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I figured that's gonna make a little bit of good film, so. Look at that. Some nice ass rims on that motherfucker, bro. Woo! That bitch is mean. We got this tow in Magnolia that we're gonna go deal with now with the police. We got another tow in Dover, cause we gotta take that Jeep from Magnolia to Dover and then a tow from Dover to Dover and then a tire change in Dover at the Wesley College. We're gonna go ahead and take care of both of them, or all three of them, but we're gonna go up here and get on to this next one because I'm about to see how this is about to turn out. So let's go. What's up everybody? If y'all ain't get to catch that live earlier, go catch that live of me uh, loading up this um, Jeep Compass right here. We had to get the dollies and everything. So go catch up on that. I'm gonna get unloaded. We gotta get to this other link. We're out here on Route 50 again. We got a... Uh, Ford Ranger here that's got a shit ton of fucking damage. Shit ton of fucking damage. We're on the opposite side from where we picked that one up yesterday. Must be a thing with Route 50 and Ford Rangers, but I'm about to get it hooked up real quick. We gotta take this one down to Salisbury. It's a $160 tow. It's not that bad. Good way to start the morning, 7 o'clock in the morning. But look at all these cars. None of them are fucking pulling over, guys. None of them. So let's set this up and uh, let's get loaded up, y'all. Go ahead and get everything hooked up. I want y'all to sit here and watch my six for me. We got this big ass tractor coming down too. Watch my back for me, y'all. Watch my fucking back for me. It's amazing how many people don't follow the slow down move over law. Look, y'all going to sit there and count with me how many cars. Like, this is an everyday thing, and it's, it should just be spread more awareness than what it is. 
But pay attention, y'all. Watch them as they come, y'all. Watch them. Damn, bro. They had a clear lane, too. That's crazy, man. You know when, when you gotta actually sit here and fucking watch out for your life on your job that you love doing and people just don't get it? Like, watch. People just don't get it, y'all. Let's count this one. Let's count these. With a trailer. Let's count that dump truck right there. That wind was fucking serious. I don't know, y'all. I love my life, but these fucking people, they just keep going, too. This fucking truck is fucked up. All right, y'all, let's get on to the uh, destination. We're going to Salisbury. It's going to be about a 40-minute 40, 40 drive from here, so let's go. All right, y'all, we're out here. Just got the uh, Danger Ranger, the fucking Ford Ranger. Just got that dropped off and everything. My boy, he got a, uh, he's a little wild. They said they, they said they're the ones that beat the shit out of that thing, but can y'all see that shit? I don't know if y'all get this. Got that CBR over there, man. That thing is fucking nice, dude, but we're going to go ahead and get on back. I might check a couple repos while I'm down here because there's a couple skips that I want to uh, catch up on, but... I'm gonna go ahead and get back to the shop. I'm glad that way station wasn't open, but got that Danger Ranger up here in all pieces without making any more damage to it, but. All right, y'all. Remember to slow down, move over, and uh, like, comment, share these videos, y'all. Let's go. I can shoot all day, I got stamina. Turtleneck on with my camera, yeah. Stay creamy, man, that's what they say. Shoes laced up and I came to play. Yeah, I'm first team, I'm a superstar. They call me cream, like a good Jabbar. Yeah, you have to face it, let's get back to basics. I'ma take the shot like it's a vaccination. I don't have the patience, I'ma shoot right now. Yeah, we undefeated and you gon' lose right now. Like click, 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 swish. I can switch it up any